Okay, so that was my visit to Tim Hortons in Worcester and Village North. Um, Tim Hortons is like the Canadian answer to Starbucks, which I am not very keen on. Um, I think I'll stick to the Tim bits here and possibly the coffee or hot chocolate or whatever they offer rather than their Mexican wraps. Um, it, it wasn't the best but it wasn't unedible or inedible sorry <laughs> um, but it was very I'd describe it as more taco time or taco bell rather than uh, a GYG back in Sydney which I really miss and I'm dying to have um, it didn't cost me anything this the lunch was free because I topped up my Tim card with another uh, 75 cents in, in like odd coins that I had in my purse and um, I also had about $19 almost on there by the time I refilled it. So I spent that on lunch and then I'll leave the balance for a coffee and some Timbits or something when I leave and go back to Sydney um, on the 29th. So now I'm going to the post office because I've just been to um, Fresh Street to return my bottles. I'm very keen on recycling. Uh, this morning I did my laundry I actually took all my rubbish down to the dumpster and sorted it all out into um, compost, um, containers, general rubbish to landfill and paper and cardboard. So the next uh, place is the post office and then I'll be off to look for a new pair of ski boots unfortunately. I don't want to spend um, like a lot of money on them because I know they're going to do the same thing next time I come like in a couple of years time they'll they'll disintegrate like the first um, pair that I had and the second pair and also my snowshoes the first pair and the second pair so I'll just buy like a pair that's around maybe $300 Canadian plus taxes max if I can find a pair in my size which will be quite difficult um, but hopefully I'll find a pair if not if I get desperate I'll just have to go shopping in Vancouver but I think in Vancouver I'm not going to be very successful because I wasn't very successful in finding a ski jacket until I went to um, um, Mountain Warehouse and the only one I could find that would fit me was that red one. It's not um, the best but it's it's waterproof and it's I think 10,000 millimeters um, which is pretty average. Um, and it only cost me around like under seventy dollars Canadian, including taxes, because there was a discount on it as well, and it was the last month. Um, but yeah, I'm off now to the post office, and then I'll go looking for a new pair of ski boots. So.